Hello everyone. Um, today I'll be teaching how to implement stop loss strategy properly when you're trading. Now we know that stop loss strategy is the strategy that makes you a professional trader because if you can implement stop losses properly, then you will stay long in the game of trading. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now let's assume you come to your trade option and you want to buy luna let's take luna for example luna usdt now luna is selling for 8.16 it has dropped to 8.168 and i want to buy let's assume i bought luna for this price now, a profitable trader or a professional trader, immediately you buy a coin or a token. You want to click on your sell, immediately you buy. Because except you are holding that cryptocurrency for a long time, you want to just trade it, make profit from it and move to the next trade. So the first thing you need to do is to ensure that you've bought that cryptocurrency, you have it in your wallet. And now you, are, you want to sell it for a profit now let's assume you are planning to sell or the signal you got for this cryptocurrency is that you should sell it when the price hits 12 dollar or 12.5 dollar and you see you are selling 100 percent of your luna and you click on the sell button and you click on the sell button now i need you to understand something that when you implement this strategy you only sold if the price hits $2.5. But what happens, what if the price of this crypto drops down to $7.8? What do you do? Or what if it drops to 4.0? 4, 4 that is almost half your account. What do you do? Now, because you don't want that kind of a disaster to happen, and that is why we implement stop loss strategy. Because if you are if you say you want to sell at this price, which is your take profit, what if it doesn't hit this profit price? What do you do? So that is why I'm making this video. Because right here, if you can see right here, we have limits. Which is telling you that this is the price you want to sell the limit when it gets to this limit sell it but now we want to change it from limits to oco one cancels the order one cancels the order now what oco does is what i'm going to show you now once you click on oco which is here on the screen now you enter the price here that look i want to take my profits at 12.5 which makes sense that is the amount i want to take my profit but at the same time if the price of this token drops to 7.9 dollar if it drops to 7.9 dollar sell all my crypto or activate my stop loss price of 7.5 what you are trying to say is that once the price of this cryptocurrency drops to this price it's going to fill this your price into the other book here i hope you get the concept so it means that this is not your stop loss this is your stop loss 7.5 is your stop loss but you are saying look once it gets to this price I want you to put in my stop loss price in the other book. So what this does is that it saves you from cryptocurrencies that are falling drastically. If it's falling drastically and you miss, miss that drastic fall, you may find out that your cryptocurrency are falling into a disaster mode and you want to avoid that. So with this, you have implemented risk management. This is your take profits. This is your stop loss. And once you can do this successfully, I'm telling you by the time you practice it, by the time you are getting your fifth, sixth trade, 
you will know how to implement it successfully. Um, based on the technical analysis strategy you are implementing, before you know it, you'll be making profit while trading. So this is why I'm making this video. I need you to like this video, drop a comment below. If you have any other question or contribution, I'll be ready to attend to that. Thank you very much. Have a great day.